Okay, so one of the first things to do is I gotta clean out this area, get it all swept out, um, get all the clutter out of here, so that way we can start assembling this studio. I had to have my wife and son help me hang this pegboard here. And what this is, is uh, it's just regular pegboard from Lowe's. And then I put some two by fours behind it, as you can see here. Um, bought some hooks from Amazon, these long type of hooks here. So that way I can hang some Nerf guns on here. And so I got some of my son's Nerf guns on here. I think they look pretty cool hung on the wall and they are not on the floor and I'm not stepping on them. And they're just, they, they look cool in this space. So. Um, my hope is to maybe paint this pegboard black instead of having it that ugly brown color. All right, so I've got the tabletop here the desktop this is the ikea linman i love these tabletops they're very affordable they look cool they're very lightweight too uh, so i went with uh kind of like a almost a pine color um maybe maybe even an oak but it's a light colored wood look so this is gonna be the tabletop let's unbox this bad boy i bought some legs and then we'll put the legs on there and get it all attached and this will be the main desktop All right, so there's that beautiful tabletop there. Nice and smooth and it looks good. All right, so I got my uh, soft box light here, getting ready to set this thing up, but take a look at the size of this light bulb. I mean, compared to my hand here, that thing is huge. We'll go ahead and get this thing assembled and we'll have a nice glow to the area. So I took and I plugged it into the thing outlet right here. This was the only outlet I had in this space. And screwed it up there. So that way I now have an outlet that I can plug in more devices to. Now we can plug in the light. So turn that on there. Turn on the switch. All right, there's our soft box light. Okay, so this is the progress we have so far. Light stalled. Um, with the extension cord up there, chair, table, and rug. So now we gotta wait for the rest of the stuff to arrive from UPS via Amazon. Okay, it's another day on the YouTube Studio, working on YouTube Studio. So I've got some new components to add to it and we should be getting pretty close to getting this thing all set up. Uh, but over here on the corners, I put these poles. Um, they're like, you know, tripod stands that are going to hold this blue paper here. This is a savage, Paper, blue paper, blue jay, blue sky, something like that. I'll link it down below what uh, this color is and where you can get it. But it's savage paper, so it's gonna completely transform that ugly brick wall that's behind me and put a blue paper behind there. Also, I've got this Canon light here uh, with a TP Link light bulb in there, a colored light bulb. So that way I can put that behind a chair to give some ambience of light behind me. And then also I've got this dimmer switch here um, to tone down the light on this big old soft box light because it was kind of a, a harsh light. So even when I did tilt it to the side, but these are some of the new components that I'm going to add and get set up. So let's do that next. Okay, so that was a little harder to put up by myself than what I originally thought. So if you do go to hang one of these things up, maybe grab another person to help you hold the other end. But it's up there, we'll cut it up, cut those little pieces of tape off there and pull it down. Okay, so this is the Blue Jay color paper. Now the thing I like about the Savage paper uh, versus some of the others, they, it's a thick quality on this paper here. So it's not that cheap flimsy stuff. It's, it's not quite thick as like cardstock, but it's pretty thick, so I think it'll look pretty good in this spot here. Oh, 
Okay, so I did do something different here. Instead of mounting this pole on each side of the backdrop, I wanted a little bit cleaner look. So I just took some old bolts that I had in my uh, jar of nuts and bolts and mounted it like this. So that way there's no less clutter, no known stands or anything. So I did that on both sides. Okay, so it's been a few weeks, actually a couple weeks now uh, since I've last shot any video on this setup, but this is the newest addition that I was waiting for. I had to place an order for this custom shelf here. So that way I can put it behind me and put some little knick-knacky items on there and kind of customize it. Uh, give some dimension to my setup. But um, yeah, I had a special order of this thing. I have a friend who does some woodworking and uh, they made this for me. And so now we will add this to the, the set. Okay, so this is the makeshift setup so far. I'm recording with my iPhone right now, but I've got the light in place here. I took that blue light, raised it up a little higher, so that way it could give that more uh, ambient lighting be, uh, behind me. And I had an old shop light uh, that I put right here to kind of uh, light up this shelf a little bit, but I just took some uh, product boxes that I had laying around to decorate this shelf with. I'm sure that I'll be changing that up as I go along. I just took uh, like an old MacBook box. Um, I got AirPods, uh, an old salt light lamp, uh, some greenery, and then a drone that I have. Yeah, just decorated with some product boxes. But yeah, I think this might work for right now to get me started. I wanna show you guys what this looks like whenever I am using the big camera. Let's do that now. Okay, this is it. How's it look? How's it sound? I've got the uh, Rode Wireless Go microphone going on right here. It's clipped onto my shirt. Got my lighting table. A little bit of accessories there to kind of spruce up the look. But this is going to be my little uh, budget makeshift YouTube studio. Uh, hopefully this was helpful to you guys and um, maybe getting you some inspiration or some ideas on maybe creating your own YouTube studio on a budget. So a lot of these items, uh, they, they weren't, they didn't cost a whole lot. So I'm gonna link everything that I used in this video in the description down below in case you guys wanna pick up uh, some of these items here. But yeah, I think, um, I think it's gonna look pretty good. I think it sounds pretty good. And I think I'll be able to do some tech videos and product review videos right here whenever um whenever i'm ready to do something just like on a whim um and i'm not using one of my other studios uh, i think this is uh just another one that i can use so hopefully uh, this was helpful to you guys inspires you guys um, if it did throw a thumbs up on this video go ahead and subscribe to this channel i make tech videos all the time and i'd love to have you back in the next one so until then get out there and be creative